All right, now you remember a million years ago when we first started on the show, we tested ice bullets. And as soon as we shot the rifle, the bullet turned to gases. Which is exactly why I think that before we go and build a full-size ice cannon, we should start by testing the cannonballs. Right, because if the cannonballs can't hold together, then the myth is already busted. Exactly. So why don't we do this? Let's make some ice cannonballs. We'll fire them out of a real cannon and take it from there. Good. I like it. The team's previous failure firing frozen H2O ammo. It just can't be done. You're going to end up with vaporized water. Means the opening salvo in this Siberian siege story will be the weakest link, the projectiles themselves. We've done a lot of research to see if we could find any sort of historical information on the specs of the ice cannonballs. Now, we've found that they may have been reinforced with fibers such as hemp, wood, and paper pulp. So while Tori and I work on these supplemented cannonballs, Grant's going to work on the clear ice ones. What is going on back there? Hey. So using natural materials for structurally stronger alternatives, Sawdust. the team makes four types of frozen cannonballs. Yeah, this is going to be one strong cannonball. Pure ice. Perfect. And ice plus hemp. Ice ball with hemp in it. Sawdust and paper. Ooh. Whoa, that is awesome. That's Look at perfect. how perfect that is. With their projectiles prepped, it's off to a suitably explosive location. All right, let's bring out the cannon. All right. We've come out to Angel's Camp, where we have a long history of blowing up cement trucks, unleashing fireworks men into the world, and firing off a cannon. Whoa! That's what we're going to do again. There she is. Harry Webb has brought out Old Moses so that we can test each recipe for our ice cannonballs and see which one can withstand the blast of a real cannon. We're going to be firing our cannonballs with increasingly larger amounts of black powder to see if they can withstand the pressure. We're starting with pure ice cannonballs and eight ounces of black powder, the minimum amount we can use in the cannon. Don't worry, comrade. They're only shooting ice. How bad could that hurt? We'll use it to chill our vodka. 